Now today we are going to start with the chapter that is the sectors of Indian economy. Now we are going to start with economics. So first we need to know that what are the economic activities. So what are economic activities? The activities which carry which are carried out to increase the national income of the country and also to carry out the work of production manufacturing which would lead to development and infrastructural improvement of the country that particular activity or that those activities are known as economic activities which are done by men and women now sectors under economic activities there are three sectors under economic activities is they are primary secondary and tertiary sector now first that is primary sector primary sector is also known as agricultural sector primary sector have the work of produce production of raw material basically it primary sector has work of production now that production can be of raw uh, that production is always of raw material and that production activity can include fishing mining agricultural production or field work or uh, we can say uh, harvest uh, harvesting or any production activity now fishing that is production of fishes mining that is production of minerals now these all activities are uh, under primary activities now they cannot be used in they they cannot be used as finished goods so to make the raw materials or the materials which are produced by the primary sector in the finished form we need a manufacturing sector now that manufacturing sector is known as the secondary sector now secondary sector has all the work of manufacturing now these factories which convert the ore into the petroleum or ore into its particular uh, ion or particular metallic form that particular activity is known as the manufacturing activity and that activity helps us to uh, uh, get it into a finished goods form and that good can be used in our day to day life so we cannot use uh, we cannot uh, use the crops directly that crops needed to be uh, manufactured or that crops needed to be polished that crops needed to be separated from the rocks or the stones or the impurities so that manufacturing work is done by the secondary sector now only the secondary uh, only the finished goods now bulk of bulk finished goods are already produced now these finished goods needed to be transported from one place to another to sell those goods we need to advertise those goods now these all advertisement transportation insurance uh, banking uh, all those activities which are not related to production or manufacturing is included in the tertiary sector now these tertiary sector is basically a service sector which provides the service to the common people to achieve their goal of meeting their day to day requirements by fulfilling their needs by providing them uh, manufactured goods okay so these all three sectors are interrelated but uh, these sectors are interrelated but they have a contrary structure between them so i hope you understood all these three sectors and the basic difference of these three sectors is its definition uh, is it another name and also these sectors examples so this was about the sectors under economic activities in india now let's see what are the parts of economic activities now there are two parts of economic activities that is market activity and non market activity now what are market activity market activity are the income producing activity market activity are those activity which would lead in increase in the national income of the country those activities which would provide the strength and good infrastructural uh, composition to the country so those activities which would lead to the development of a particular country or the economic growth of the country or which would add the uh, value to its economy which would uh, uh, that is known as the 
मार्केट एक्टिविटी मार्केट एक्टिविटी इज वी कैन से वर्क विच इज डन बाय डन बाय अ फार्मर ऑन द फील्ड विच वुड रिजल्ट इन इनकम or generation of income that would lead to increase in the national income of the country and that is why it is known as the market activity as it has the income approaches in uh, uh, included so this was about the market activity now what is non market activity non market activity are those activities which do not include the income transition or income uh, or any kind of uh, production or uh, means production are, is included but not in such a way that it would add value to the economy of the country so those all uh, activities which do not add economic value or do not lead to the increase in the national income of the country those kind of activities are known as non market activities so and uh, non mar okay so the housewife looks after the welfare of the family looks after their children look after the uh, household they clean utensils they uh, dust the house they clean the house these all activities uh, after doing these activities uh, he or she would not get uh, money in front of that okay if uh, he or she is a family member so that particular person who looks after the family uh, not in income approaches that activity which is carried out by that particular person is known as non market activities so this was about the parts of economic activities in india then comes work performed under economic activities now this is particular brief explanation of this two differentiated ex- a differentiated explanation of this two Okay. Now, if we consider a backward rural family of India, then we would find that a man is working on field, and the women of the house would look after the children, look after the grandparents, look after uh, the cleanliness of the house, manages the house. Now, she would not be getting income or salary for the job that she does. So, that particular job is known as non-market act. and this is how the women perform in many backward families like now as per now women are so ahead and they are not working only at home they, they manage the home properly they also go, runs the offices so nowadays there is not a chance of these things getting through it but it is such uh, it is just an example so yeah women uh, of that particular family would uh, not get salary for the work they do or for the work she performs so uh, this activities are said to be as non market activities whereas the man of that particular family would go in the field run the uh, bullocks so they would uh, carry out the production activity they would grow crops they would harvest it they would sow seeds they would harvest it and those crops are then sold and then they would get income to run their houses so that income would lead uh, to rise in the national income of the country and that's why that is known as a market activity so this was about the work performed under economic activities then comes quality of population now in india we have a quantity of population okay that is one uh, 130 crore population in india is present now okay approximately so uh, this population quantity is okay but we need populations quality as well now how can we ensure the quality of the population so as we see quality of any person or quality of population can be defined by the literacy rate and by the health structure of that particular country so if the particular person or if the population of the country is educated there and healthy then it would lead to growth of the country whereas if they would not be educated or they would be unhealthy then they cannot be leading to the development of the country so let's consider education so literacy rate of a particular country is very important so if a particular person is literate then he 
uh, uh, then he would be an inspiration for a particular family and that family would be inspiration for another society and this virtuous or this vulnerable cycle is uh, this uh, virtuous cycle will go on and this is how the literacy rate can be increased so education is must like if the particular person do not have resources but it uh, but he or she would have uh, brains he would she he or she would have enterprise skills then they could develop from that particular thing and they can get jobs or they can uh, be an entrepreneur or they can carry out an entrepreneurship or they can uh, uh, so they would be able to get a particular rise in the economic income or the national income so education is must now if the population is educated but the population is not healthy so they would not create a healthy workspace now there is a need of healthy environment healthy workspace for good care good continuancy of work so we the health is a very basic and very important uh, structure of development so uh, pop quality of population can be determined by education and health both so these two characteristics of quality of population can be seen for leading to the increase in the country in the country's economy so i hope you like my explanation i hope you like my video uh, this was the part one of this chapter please carry uh, please continue to see the part two of this chapter to get more and more information about the sectors of the indian economy i hope you liked my video please give it a thumbs up comment down if there are any suggestion share this video as much as possible subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon so that you can get my latest updates thank you